Now I have, I have... Wow. New microphones and everything. 2015 was a damn good year of business. We've got the good microphones and all this year. And um, now business is phenomenal. I mean, all you got to do is look back at last year for myself and the company. Um, there, there was nothing about tardiness. I apologize for my timekeeping. I do not wear watches to tell the time. So um, I, I operate on my own time. But I am here now and I apologize. And, and here we go. And um, March 5th, I will be head. Rafael Dos Anjos, I will drag his head through the streets of Rio de Janeiro, through a parade of people, I'd imagine. It will become a national holiday also, I would imagine. Um, but it's simply a sign uh, uh, of recognizing who's true and who's not. Me and, me and Jesus are cool. I'm cool with all the gods. Gods recognize gods. And, and, and this man across from me has, has a title. He has nothing else but that. He is a free TV fighter. Um, he has nothing else to offer me except that gold belt. So um, that, was, that was the simple decision. There were many other options, you know. Fra Frankie, Frankie has a little bit of desperation about him or something. I don't know. He went 0-2 uh, in lightweight, got the chance to fight for the featherweight title and got the head slapped off him. And then now he's running around begging and... It's, it's very, it has a stink of desperation off of it, so I'm just going to leave him sit for a while. Connor, where is your belt? That's what I just noticed. Where is my damn belt? You know, this is a super fight. I look up on that poster, I see myself tucked in the back there. I see a guy who has, his last gate was 1.7 million. Um, he fought on free TV. He's never got a dime to the company. Um, he's never made a dime yet. He is sitting there on the front of my poster. Um, I think that's a department that needs to be looked at, somebody sleeping on the job, Where are, this is a super fight, where are all these historic images, these, these, are, these are posters that will be looked back on long after it's all said and done and then you've got to look back on that absolute garbage, so, um, I'm, I'm an active champion, I will fight in many weight divisions, you know, as, as, as it grows and, 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 and all of this forms now, I'd like to sound that 170 pound title as well, I've got to do this I feel, I feel I can take down M3 gold belts, so, and I feel I can, I can do it by the year's end. Yeah, actually, I, I won 55. I made this seven, and I made everything I, that to do with this. I put him in that seat. <coughs> I, I, I just, tell him what I to just do. Just think about. I'm here, you know. He's a challenge. I'm a champion. We put you there. And he's a, he's I'm a here because guy. I put you there. He doesn't wanna fight for his 45. Well, for his featherweight, he don't want to put his featherweight belt in the, in the line. I see a gazelle up here. He lose. I'll send, I'll send him back home to California. Oh. When I, we're sending ho, uh, Rafael on a four-day media run throughout, uh, throughout Brazil in, in a couple of weeks, and we've got to book him a hotel. I've got to book him a hotel in his own home country. He will never step off a plane and receive a hero's welcome in the country of Brazil because he ran from the country of Brazil. He didn't trust his own. And, and, and that's why Jose is the troop champion in, in, in his country. And this guy is just, this guy in, in, in Brazilian lingo is a gringo. And that is, that is the truth. I'll be fresh after 197. I believe I will dust Rafael inside one minute. Um, he is a slower, sloppier version of Aldo. He's a, he's like a bum version of Aldo. So I, I believe in, in, in absolutely everything, I believe inside one minute I will dust him, I will exit the contest for Esh, I will cast the check, I will sign the next contract for UFC 200, a brand new MGM, and we'll go again. 2015 was my year. 2016 is also my year. Every year is my fucking year. Fight. <laughs> Donald, that, 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 wasn't, that wasn't a TKO, that wasn't a finish. Don, Donald quit in there. I, looking at that, it was an early, it was an early finish for, for Dos Anjos against Cerrone, but looking at that finish, my God, in, 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 as far as finishes go, it was one of the worst finishes I've ever seen. He was swinging wild, he hit, he hit sho nothing but shoulder, he almost lost balance, he was swinging that, that wild in there. Um, he was hitting glove and then looking at the ref saying, ref, please stop this fight, please get me out of here, and then the ref obliged and stopped the fight for him. So it was a, it was a very weak finish against... Uh, Surround me. So you can talk about your wins and losses, but the, at the end of the day, you've tasted that darkness of, of, of being KO'd stiff, and you will taste it again on March 5th. 
My neck crash, you guys can make for him because he's answer for me. So my neck crash, you guys can make. Yeah, for I, me. I I set it all up and I knock it all out of the park. That's what I do. That's why you're sitting there. That's why you're flying to to Brazil and. and, and uh, to do that media run, I want, I want to send you back to our Brazilian TV partners, Globo, and Combat J Sport, and have you answer to the Brazilian people why we have to book you a hotel in your own home country. Why your kids' names are Bob, your kids' names are Bob and Donald. Before the Cerrone fight, he was extremely overweight, and he had to cut down to make that 155 pound limit. And then the king calls and says, "You're up again, kid." And now he's got to do it all over again. So I, I mean, just looking at him, he's aged 25 years in, in, the, in the last two weeks. So um, I can only imagine how he's feeling, but I'm feeling damn good. I'm the bigger you, man I have here. Two belts. I'm the bigger man. You know? I'm going to bully this man in his own division. Are you dumb, man? I'm going to... No, I'm not... Are you dumb? No, you, you, you okay. fight him while I speak. I'm the king. Yeah, we're going to speak. We're going to boom. You're not him. And he's he's five foot eight. He's going to have a nice with division for the I'm rest of his I'm five foot nine life. with a 74 inch reach. I am the bigger man here. It's this is a non-argument. Uh, I'm gonna go in and bully him in his own division. Toy with him in there. Come on. Fabrício Verdun he told us in Brazil that you try to train uh, at Kings MMA for again uh, for the fight against Jose. Is that true? Why would I want to train in that bum gym? I train with my own people. I have since day one. That man needs to get his facts straight before I roll in there and buy that gym. And turn it into a fucking dump. But I feel someone sleeping on the job in that department, and I will have to dip my nose and find out who and eliminate it. Um, he has a tenseness in his body when he loads. And we will try, we will, we will enter, and he will try and close into that distance and enter into the pocket, but he will, he will, he will take some uh, strikes in there really, really early. So he also dips in certain He has, he has, he, he, it, it's honestly like a slower sloppier, more stuffed version of Jose Aldo. I feel I will guide him onto some strikes and, and as he has been KO'd before, I will KO him once again. So that's how I feel.